Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to show how simple it is to review content and to create review assignments. You'll learn how to create and send review assignments, how to use Easy Ditto's review tools, including suggesting and commenting, and how to complete your review process faster than ever. For many organizations, collaboration and review workflows become a bottleneck in their document lifecycle. Easy Ditta is the only system that prioritizes the reviewer experience and process so that anyone, including a subject matter expert, can jump in and add feedback without any specialized training. Now we'll start with sending an assignment. Review assignments are available for every tier of Easy Ditta subscription, except for Essential. If you want to learn more, contact us at easydita.com and we'll be happy to answer all of your questions. We can create our first assignment from the Content Library view. Simply select Author in the top right. Now there are three ways to create assignments. First, for a single file, right-click on that desired file and select New Assignment. For multiple files, use the checkboxes along the left side and then right-click on any one and select New Assignment. Now the third way, the one that we're going to demonstrate today, that you can create assignments is by navigating to the Assignments interface. The Assignments interface is accessible by clicking the Resource Manager in the top left corner. Navigate down and select Assignments. The Assignments interface provides everything you need to know about the assignments. We'll talk more about this later on in the video. Now select New from the top right and the Create Assignment window will appear. Now we fill in the fields. Fill in the summary field. Add a due date for the assignment. This Notify checkbox is always selected by default, but if you do not wish to notify via email, simply uncheck this box. You can also determine if you want to restrict email notifications to users within a specified group. If you check this, you can select the group from this drop-down menu. Now step two is the workflows. EasyDita comes with a handful of default workflows, but you can create custom workflows as well. We'll talk a little bit more about workflows later on in this video. Different workflows will present different fields to add users. We're going to choose this editorial and technical review workflow. Now we simply add the users for each role. You can scroll and select the users or start typing until the desired user appears at the top of the list. You can actually add multiple users to each assignment. However, only one user will be able to claim and complete the assignment. Now that our users are selected, it's time to actually pick the files that we want reviewed. Click here, Add Topics. You can choose to select individual topics or a whole map. As an optional step, you can select a context map. This context map provides key definitions, which are applied when viewing the topics. Now we click Create. And congratulations, you've created an assignment. An inbox notification and an email will now be sent to the user that's responsible for the first step in the assignment workflow. The Assignments interface offers a fast way to see everything that needs your attention. You can use the quick filters on the left side to find what assignments need your attention. If it's on this list, it means that you are responsible for the next step in the workflow. You can also view all open assignments that are assigned to you, assigned by you, and all assignments, including those that are closed. You can also search the summaries of all your assignments or filter by criteria. Once you find the assignment that you are looking for, you can view more details by clicking on the assignment. This view provides you with all the details necessary to understand the state of this assignment. You can also see the resources that need review, the details for the assignment, and the workflow status. From here, you can also open the assignment, forward the assignment, or indicate that you completed the assignment, or close the assignment. At the top of the assignment, you can also edit it. 
Now, if you want a less formal way to get a reviewer's attention, you can also leave comments and tag the user within the topic. To do this, you navigate to the topic that you want reviewed, open the topic, and either highlight a section of text and click the comment icon, or place your cursor and right-click. The review tab will open with a comment field. Now add your comment and use the at symbol to tag another user. Now click save. This user will then receive a notification in their dashboard as well as an email that they have been tagged. For reviewers, the interface is simple to navigate so you can complete your tasks quickly. When you receive an assignment, you can access it either through the email notification, the dashboard view, or through the assignment interface. Select the assignment to view the details. In the top corner, you can open the assignment. If the previous step wasn't completed, you can also return it to the previous step in the workflow, as well as forward the assignment to a different user. Right now, we'll open this assignment, which is to review and add any content that we think is important. You'll notice the top, there's a blue bar that tells us who created the assignment and when it's due, as well as a summary. It also has links to complete the steps or go back to the assignment interface. In this gray bar below that, you can see a dropdown with the current items. If your assignment includes multiple items, this allows you to navigate between the different items. On the right side of this bar, you can quickly switch between the items. If you are reviewing a map, the navigation pane on the left side will show the list of topics within the map. As you complete items, you can select Mark Complete. This will result in a green check icon appearing next to each topic in the navigation pane. Reviewers have two ways to leave feedback within a topic. They can leave a comment or they can switch to suggesting mode and leave tracked changes. These track changes are not published in the document until they have been approved by a user with the appropriate user role. All comments and track changes are recorded and visible within the review tab on the right side of the document. The review tab will also keep approved or rejected suggestions and comments within this archived list. Once the review is complete, simply navigate to the top right and click I'm done. If you have not marked all the assigned items as complete, a warning will pop up informing you that there are still documents left to review, and at this point, you can leave a comment with any relevant feedback. If your step is the final step in the assignment workflow, there will be a checkbox that lets you also mark the assignment as resolved. And congratulations, you've just completed your first workflow review assignment. With EasyDita, review cycles are no longer the bottleneck to a document lifecycle. To see how EasyDita powers the other stages of document creation, view our other tutorial videos. You can find the links in the description or visit easydita.com.